Hey everyone, what is up? So um, today is March the 1st and you can see like in Beijing, the weather is significantly starting to clear up. So it does feel really good outside. I mean, you still need like a jacket and whatnot, but overall the weather is really nice. So, I mean, that's pretty, it's good if you want to like walk outside. And so I do know like, um, you guys were saying about the goggles and stuff. So in Beijing, we do have, I mean, like, of course it is important to keep your distance from people as so that they can't, um, you know, get any of their fluid on you or accidentally cough on you. Cause that would be like the last thing you want. But anyhow, um, we do have some positive, um, we have been seeing some, positive news here in Beijing, which is that we haven't been getting a lot of new cases. And in fact, we haven't gotten any new cases in the past few days. We did have one outbreak, I believe on the 26th or the 27th, which was in a local government office and somebody there had the sickness. And they that person gave it to like 10 other people inside that office. But aside from that, I mean, Beijing, has not had any new cases for the past several days and um, we've been seeing a lot of people recovering so that's also good um, I do know the virus is spreading in other countries and it is spreading quickly so that is something that you do want to be aware of you do want to make sure that the people around you are not sick and um, if they are, you know, you can wear the proper protective gear. So like everybody out here is going to be wearing a mask. And um, well, they should be wearing a mask. I do see some people who are not. But anyhow. I just came out here to go for a quick stroll. Um, it's not something I do often. In fact, today is like the first time I've gone for a stroll in a really long, in a really long time. And if you do leave the community, if you want to come back, you will need this paper proving this little card, which proves that you live here because they're not letting just anybody come in here. Like you have to be checked. You have to go through a social worker who will make sure that you've been quarantined for the proper time, that you're not sick, where you come from, your address, and no visitors are allowed in here right now. So they are taking the precautions that they need to take. And I mean, this is new. People are putting up thicker barriers from their hutongs or their houses from the outside world. So that's a good thing. I have a net on mine, but mainly it is to keep like mosquitoes out and the like. So anyways, guys, I'm healthy. Um, I'm still working from home as of late in two weeks or two and a half weeks. I will be going to Japan because I need to uh, leave the country for a, for a bit. And yes, I will be going to Japan. Um, hopefully the weather there is nice. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to Osaka or if I'm going into Tokyo, so we'll see sooner or later. I haven't bought the tickets yet, but we'll see as uh, it, it comes closer to the day. Anyhow, guys, uh, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm going to see if I can walk around the lake if it's open. Keep in touch and I'll hear from you later. So this is why I wanted to walk. One, because it's a really nice day. And two, because there's not a lot of people here. And this is like my neighborhood. So usually this area is crowded with a lot of people because it's a popular lake in Beijing. But now they're guarding it here. So if you don't have the pass, if you, if you don't live here, you can't come in. So it's kind of cool. Like you get to walk around the lake without <laughs> hundreds of people. I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but from bad things, sometimes, you know, you can get some solidarity or you something good can come out of it. 
and actually guys this lake looks so crystal clear right now it's actually see-through so i mean it's clear you know that's nice and the yeah i mean i can't believe that there's nobody usually i mean but it's it's covered you can't pass here, this area unless you live here so again like wow this is this is once in a lifetime i really do love this area which is why i decided to move to this part of town because i just i wanted to have access to and a park where I can walk around and meditate and think and I mean this is a great area and usually these bars are full of people and foreigners and the food's pretty good um yeah it's just like a good place to come and walk and spend time so my other favorite park is not that far from here either and that is Beihai Park um I did I would have liked to visit the Summer Palace today, but um, I read on online that you need to book it a few days or one day in advance. And then there's another park that's open as well, but for that park, uh, they're limiting it to 20,000 people per day. So I was like, I don't know, it's pretty late right now. If I go there now, I'm, I might not be allowed in, so I just came here 